Hello there everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video we're going to be unboxing two packages today. One is some fan mail, and the other one is a box from Briar. Probably something to do with Briarfest, but I don't have any idea what's actually in this box yet. I think it might just be Briarfest swag, which isn't crazy exciting. But I don't know, you guys actually probably know more than I do right now about what's in this box based on the video title and all of that stuff. I have not opened it up yet. I'm waiting to open it up with you guys on camera. And I also don't know what is in the fan mail package either. So what exactly is going on here is a mystery to me. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start unboxing. Let's start off with the fan mail. This is from Sarah or Seahorse Pony on Snups. And I have no idea what she sent, but let's find out. All right, this one says open last, read note first. We will do that then, we'll set that aside. And this is another one, open last. All right, we'll set that aside as well. Oh, and here is the beautiful, beautiful note. It's even in a nice little protector sheet. Oh, this is so adorable. It says Stormy Strikes. It's got a wonderful drawing of a horse and a bunch of really cute horse stickers. She said, hi Stormy, I am Seahorse Pony, your friend on Snups. I've drawn this quarter horse for you since that's your favorite breed. Now I did copy the picture, so it is off the picture. So I have the original copy, which the original is hand drawn by me. Hope we can be friends, Sarah. P.S. This is my real name and I hope we can be pen pals. Hope to hear from you soon. And also another P.S. There is another note on the back. And I won't show the note on the back because it does have her phone number on it. But she wanted to say thank you for all that you do. Hope you will write back soon. That is so, so sweet of you, Seahorse Pony or Sarah. Thank you so much for this super sweet note and awesome, awesome quarter horse drawing. Now let's move on to these two little packages. I'm seeing what looks like a cute little stable mate. It is a cute little stable mate. Oh my goodness. It's got a little, looks like a lightning bolt on both sides and some really cute little spots on its back. Oh, it even has like a little white blaze. This is so cute. Thank you so much, Sarah. And now for the next one. This looks like one of the little Irish Cobb stable mates. Oh, it is so very cute. I think this one might be from one of the mystery sets or something like that, but it's the little Appaloosa pattern Irish Cobb mold. So cute. Thank you so much for these, Sarah. They are adorable. Now on to this mystery briar box. And I do not feel like crossing out all of the things, which is going to mean I'm going to have to do some more editing later. I am very curious to see if this is my swag stuff or if it's something else. A few moments later. Okay, for the big reveal. Now, I'm a little excited because I saw bubble wrap. Now, I don't think Briar usually wraps their swag items up in bubble wrap. And I didn't buy any of like the cups or anything like that that would require bubble wrap. I only bought t-shirts and a tote bag and a pin. So none of those things require bubble wrap, which means I'm wondering if this might possibly be my grab bag. Let's find out. Oh my gosh, I am so excited right now. I am seeing bubble wrap. Lots and lots of bubble wrap. That's always a good sign. It's a good sign. Oh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing special bubble wrap. The bubble wrap they don't normally put on items. Oh, I have a feeling. Oh my gosh, I do know what this is. It is a grab bag item, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's got, looks like a, we'll open this up real quickly. There's a little, pocket box item here. This is a grab bag though, and I know what it is just from looking through the uh, bubble wrap, I can tell what it is. Unfortunately, it's not something I'm super excited about, but it's still a pretty nice thing, I think. Also, which grab bag I got was the warehouse grab bag for $75. I really wanted the 151 or the 200 one but they kept selling out so fast, I wasn't able to get one. The best I was able to do was the $75 one. But I think it is gonna be worth the money here. 
So here's a Briar Dog's Pocket Box uh, little grab bag. Let's open that up. I actually don't think I have any of the Briar Dog Pocket Box ones. I have some of the other ones, but I do not have the dogs one. Little doggies. Oh, it's a poodle and what's this? Like a little, uh, looks like a little fuzzy dachshund maybe. I'm so glad I got a poodle because my neighbor actually has a poodle. So when I think of poodles, I always think of her adorable little poodle. And then this little dog is super cute as well. These are adorable and looks like a poodle sticker. And this looks like a little dog bowl maybe. Or just a little, I don't know what that's supposed to be. And then there's, whoops, a little city background. I know I'm holding out this suspense right now on what's in the bubble wrap. But don't worry, we'll get to that get to that next. But that's a fun little addition. Now I don't think there's anything else in here. It seems to be just bubble wrap, except for the model. We'll get all that stuff out of the way. Alright, so here is the grab bag. Grab bag horsey. Some of you might be able to tell what he is already. I do already know what he is, but it's maybe a little harder to tell on camera. And I forgot to preface uh, opening this up that the warehouse grab bags, it's not like the collector club grab bags where you have an idea of what you're getting in each particular one after people get them. This is not the same thing. These warehouse grab bags are very random. One person can buy a $75 warehouse grab bag and get completely different stuff from the next person. And from what I've seen on Facebook and stuff, people have been getting like a wide variety of different items in these grab bags. Everything from past special runs to collector club models to vintage club models to all kinds of different things. So that is really fun. I think that these are just complete surprises on what you're gonna get exactly. And speaking of surprise, that is what this guy is. He is, he is one of the Heroes Welcome Surprise models. Hold on, let me get all this stuff out of the way. So here is the model. This is the decorator version of the Briarfest 2019 Heroes Welcome Surprise. I did have one of these guys briefly. I got one in the special run line at Briarfest, but then I immediately traded it for the Chestnut Pinto because that was the one I really wanted. And I never really regretted it or anything, which is why I'm not super excited about having this guy. He was not one I really wanted in my collection compared to the other models in that run. But this guy is kind of neat because he does not have a lot of silver on him. At least it doesn't seem that way. Maybe I didn't look at the one I had very well when I had it, but this guy is like really clear, especially on this side. And I don't know how well it's actually going to show up on camera. He has like a very transparent layer of silver right here, so you can actually see through him. Maybe you guys can see where he's like put together there, that little circle. That's part of the inside of his molding. And so this whole area is just very see-through. He's got a little bit more silver on like his haunches here. You can see it a little bit better. It's a little more opaque. Now on this side, he's a lot more opaque on the silver department, but you can still see through him a lot more than I feel like the normal run, maybe? I could be wrong about that, though. Again, I didn't really take a super close look at this guy in person at Briarfest last year because I just knew immediately I wanted to trade him. But he's kind of interesting, this one, just because he is so see-through. We can even see on his face there, too. He's kind of see-through. He is a clear wear model, and you can really see his clear wear too through his legs. He's got very clear legs, and his mane and tail have that clear wear that fade to a green color. This is really, really interesting. Now, Briar has been putting, possibly, we don't know for sure, sample models, which are models that don't have their VIN numbers, which means they technically could have been painted by someone in the Briar factory and then sent to China to say this is what the model is supposed to look like, paint the models like this. Or sometimes when they paint the models in China, they send a sample model back to Reeves and say, okay, this is how we painted the model. Is this how you want it done? And then Briar says, yes or no, we need to make corrections here and there. 
I don't know a whole lot about that production process, but I do know a little bit from following the Beasts of Mesozoic raptor figures. David Sylvia, who runs that, has shown pictures and talked about the progress of that a bit. So it is pretty commonplace for like the factories in China to send back a sample and say, is this how it's supposed to be? And then they send the corrections back and whatnot. This guy does not have a VIN number on any of his hooves. Of course, there's also always just the chance that the models didn't get a VIN number. It does have the Briarfest 2019 30th anniversary stamp on his belly. So we don't know for sure the history of this guy. He almost looks glossy too, which is weird. I think that's just because it's clear wear. This model was not supposed to come in gloss. He almost looks and almost kind of feels glossy, but I'm pretty sure he is not glossy. He does not have that really thick coating of gloss on him. So I don't believe he is a glossy version because they were only supposed to be matte, but he is awful shiny. I think that is just the clear plastic though. So that is what I got in my grab bag along with the little pocket dogs edition. I do not know if I'm actually going to keep this model or not because it is not one of my favorite decorators. Not a super huge fan of the design on him. Although I do have all of the other Matt Heroes Welcome Surprise models except for that super fancy Appaloosa one that was super rare. So part of me almost wants to keep him just because I'll have a complete collection of that surprise model. So I don't know. I don't know yet if I will keep him or not. I'm gonna have to think about it. But he was definitely worth the price of the grab bag. $75 for him and then the little edition of the pocket dogs. That was totally, totally worth the $75 because these models are $85 to buy them directly from Briar. So it was definitely worth the money. I do kind of wish it would have been a model that I was more excited about. But it is a total gamble. It's a grab bag. You don't know exactly what you get and that's the point. He is still a super nice item to get in a grab bag though. And of course I could always trade him for something else or things like that. So I am not disappointed in that regard at all. And who knows, maybe I will end up keeping him off to think about it. He actually almost kind of goes with the Celtic theme, which might be another reason to maybe keep him. So there you have it, guys. There are the lovely little gifts from Sarah and what I got in my Briarfest warehouse grab bag at the $75 price point. Let me know in the comments what kind of special model do you wish you could find in a Briarfest warehouse grab bag. It could be anything. Let me know in the comments below. And if you happen to snag one of the Briarfest warehouse grab bags, then also let me know what you got in it. It's really fun hearing all of the different models that people have found in their grab bags this year. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone! <laughs>